What world were you taught that you are not allowed to make mistakes? Who do you think you are for saying that I'm not allowed to grow? I'm not allowed to change. I'm not allowed to make mistakes and come back from them. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia Gogan. If you are new, and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe because it's a good time over here. Forgive yourself for what you have done in the past when you were operating out of survival mode. I recently had a video go viral on my channel. It was all about hookup culture. You can go watch it if you want, but basically I was talking about my experience with hookup culture when I realized it was just not for me. And once I realized it wasn't for me, I healed a bunch of different wounds. I healed the things that caused me to participate in that in the first place. And now I'm at a point in my life where I do not participate in that culture anymore. Within that video, there was so many of you who commented and resonated with me. You said, thank you so much for making me feel like I'm not alone. There were a lot of even men in those comments saying, I know this video was directed to women, but I truly understand the effects that it's also had on me as well. I no longer want to participate in it. I want to build a healthier relationship with myself. I'm becoming more aware. I'm maturing. I'm growing and I no longer want to participate. But of course, with any viral video, you're going to get negative comments. A lot of the comments were from men, either with weird profile accounts or just names, and they basically said all of the Andrew Tate, red pill type of comments that one would say. You're a 304. Because you've hooked up with people in your past, you're never gonna amount to anything. You're never gonna find a man who wants to be with you. You're never gonna be able to get married, blah, 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 blah. Now, if I let these men or anyone who is commenting negative on my stuff affect my self-perception, then it would come to a point where I would either take that video down or I wouldn't be on camera right now talking to you. And on top of that, I would feel like crap about myself. I would question my worth. I would question my future. I would question if I'm gonna have children because no man is ever gonna wanna be with me. I would do all of these things. And that's what you guys do when you allow other people who are bringing up your past affect who you are now. This is what you guys do when you allow people to talk down on you, to bring up your past, to tell you you're wrong for what you've done in the past, people who do not and will never be able to forgive you are the ones making you feel terrible about yourself. And every single day you wake up and you feel shame about yourself. You're worried about people pulling things from your past. You're worried about what people are gonna be saying behind your back. You're worrying if other people are thinking about something cringy that you've done or something awkward that you've done or something in the past that you no longer identify as. And this is what's going to continue to make you suffer. I recently had someone very near and dear to my heart reach out to me on Instagram. You know who you are. And she asked me for some advice. She basically said she had posted content on the internet a long time ago. That was the old her. She looked different. The things that she was saying is not who she is right now. Fast forward a few years later, she finds out that somebody that she knows found out about those videos. And she is afraid that either that person is gonna spread those to other people, or if it gets out, people will not stop talking about it. And this is the advice that I gave her. And this is the advice that I'm going to give you if you are worried about something that you have done in the past that you are ashamed of, that you're embarrassed by, that you no longer are, that you no longer identify as, that you've decided that you want to change your mind on. And that is, you are human and humans are allowed to make mistakes. Humans are allowed to grow. Humans are allowed to change their minds. Humans are allowed to be forgiven. And the humans that are trying to make you feel bad about what you have done in the past are humans that will never forgive themselves for what they've done in the past. This is something you need to understand about every human being. We all make mistakes. We all have things in our past that we are ashamed of to the point where it brings people down. It brings people down to the point where they will never get back up. I know people in my personal life that they have done things in their past that they are so ashamed of, so scared to even look at, that they it's literally destructed their life. They have gone to addictions, they have gone to different coping mechanisms that keep them down and unhealthy and depressed. I've seen it. And you know what, it's so sad because what world, what world were you taught that you are not allowed to make mistakes? This is what I really want. I wish that I could say to the people who are super negative, it's like, who do you think you are for saying that I'm not allowed to grow? I'm not allowed to change. I'm not allowed to make mistakes and come back from them. There are people out there in, in society that 
hate themselves so much that to even think about forgiving themselves is wrong in itself. This is another thing that you need to know about things that you've done in the past that you are ashamed of, that you're embarrassed by, that you are no, you no longer identify as. These are things that you have done out of survival mode. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you say that it was super bad and you should not have done it. We do things that we feel ashamed of because that's all we knew. That's what we thought we had to do to get a need met. There's always something deeper going on. You were always operating out of different traumas, limiting beliefs, shame, all of these things. You are not a bad person. You have just done bad things at one particular point because you were in survival mode. You are allowed to be forgiven for those things. Now, this doesn't mean that you never have to say sorry, that you never have to work on some of the things that you have done in the past that were really wrong and bad. Obviously, it depends on your situation, but I don't care. I don't care what you have done. Healing and forgiveness needs to be accomplished so that you can move on in your life and you are allowed to move on in your life. The people who are trying to bring you down, they're trying to bring you down because they're down here. This is what you don't get. This is what so many of you ask me in my DMs, on my comments on TikTok, everywhere. How do I deal with negative people that are around me? How do I deal with um, negative uh, family that are calling me names and bringing me down and telling me that I'm gonna amount to nothing? Da, 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 da. People who are unhappy are always down here. And unfortunately, misery loves company. So if misery loves company, miserable people, if you're up here, if you're trying to go through life and heal and change and not be this person that was down here at one, at one point because you were also in survival mode, once they see you being up here, they want company. So they're gonna pull you back down here. But guess what? You are no longer going down there. It's not happening. I want you to ask yourself a question. Are you really gonna let somebody else dictate your life and how you feel and what you do and what you pursue and all of the things that you desire in your life? Are you truly gonna let somebody who will never make it from here to here, dictate your whole entire life, your whole entire identity, make you feel like crap about yourself every single day. Because the truth is, you are letting them make you feel like this. It is not your fault that they are trying to bring you down, but you are letting them bring you down there. Now, what I find with letting people bring you down there is the fact that you have not forgiven yourself. Because the truth is, if you forgive yourself, if you realize and you look in the mirror and you say, you know what, I have done some shit in the past and I'm not happy about, and I am going to work to change that, to say sorry to the people that I need to so say sorry to, all of these things. If you truly stood in the mirror and you believed that within you and that you, you can be imperfect and you were okay and you can make mistakes, these people would have no effect on you. The same way those men in my comments that are calling me a 304, calling, saying that I'm never going to amount to anything, that I'm never going to have a husband, they don't affect me. They don't affect me one bit because I know my truth. I know that I'm allowed to change. I know that I'm allowed to grow. I know that there's going to be men out there that don't expect me to be a virgin before getting married. I know all these things to be true. And you need to know that yourself. If you're at a point right now in your life where you are stuck in the past, you are stuck on things that you feel ashamed of, and you might also be dealing with people who are trying to make you feel worse about what you have done, you need to learn how to forgive yourself. You need to look at the situation, whatever it is that you did, and you need to step outside of yourself and realize that you are doing certain things based off of survival. I do not care what you say that you did. I don't care that you knew that you were doing something bad. There is a reason. You need to get to that reason. You need to go to the root. You need to forgive yourself. You need to cry about it. You need to let it out. You need to let yourself feel even shame and embarrassment and cringiness. And at the same time, accept all parts of you. Accept the fact that you might have been cringy, that you said the wrong thing, that you made a mistake. It's okay. It is okay. You are human. You're allowed to make mistakes. We don't just get born and we just live life and we're perfect about everything. And if people, again, are making you feel bad for not being perfect, that is a them problem. It is not a you problem. Once you've learned how to forgive yourself, you need to learn how to let go. I just posted a video about obsessing over negative circumstances in your life. I really want you to go watch that video. And this is truly about letting go of the things that no longer serve you anymore. You have to remind yourself that you ruminating in the past, what you did, all of these things, is not helping your current circumstance right now. You focusing on a negative situation, a negative thing, 
you're only going to manifest more negative things coming to you in your life. You need to come to a point where you let go. It doesn't mean that you have to forget, and I'm talking about even forgiving other people, right? But also yourself. It doesn't mean you have to forget. You can know that you have done things in your past that you're not happy about, but you can at the same time not let it affect who you are. And you know that you are worthy and you are still deserving and you deserve a beautiful life and you are a good person. You gotta let go. You gotta let go of what you have done in survival mode. After you forgive and you let go, what's really important, what helped me the most with just kind of letting all the negative people get away from me and just live a abundant and amazing life is building a new identity. This is not to forget the old you. This is not to deny that you didn't do things in the past. This is not to pretend as if you are a perfect human now. But I think creating this new identity of self, one that is imperfect, but still valuable. One that is always learning and always growing. One that is allowed to make mistakes, but takes accountability for those mistakes. The one who is self-aware and knows that there are days or weeks or months where you're going to have to come back to self and to heal. And there's different traumas and conditionings that one might have that will constantly need to be worked on. Versus being in this old you of letting other people control how you feel or feeling ashamed about yourself, which gets you nowhere. Operating out of a place of shame Operating out of a place of judgment and criticizing yourself literally gets you nowhere. Like, I just want you to think about where this mindset and this feeling state gets you. It doesn't get you anywhere. Why? Because if you feel ashamed, if you're embarrassed, or if you think that you're cringy, you're not going to put yourself out there. You're not going to put yourself out there when it comes to men. You're not going to put yourself out there when it comes to new opportunities. You are not going to share your story the way that I share my stories. You are not going to grow and take on new challenges because you are going to feel as if you cannot do it. And that is no life to live. You are here to learn and grow and evolve. That is what we do. The people who are in my comments saying that I will never amount to anything are people who will never grow and evolve. The people who are growing and evolving, they are not in the comment sections on anyone's video bringing them down, nitpicking them, saying what is horrible about what they look, or what they've done in the past, none of that. I'm telling you right now, truly confident and loving people, people who have integrated shadows are not judging you. And yes, do we judge people here and there? And do we think about, oh, maybe that's a little bit weird or not, or I don't like that, or I like this. Sure, we're, we're flawed human beings. It's okay to like certain things and not like other things. But the truth is, if somebody is truly healed, they know that you're human, that you have made mistakes, that you can grow, and that you're on your own journey, and maybe one day you will figure it out, maybe you won't. Or maybe that you're suffering and that you're just in a really low place right now. When I think about the people who try and bring me down, I actually feel a lot of sadness. I feel instantly through the words that they say, how unhappy, how disgusted they feel about themselves. And that is really sad. And they're trying to make me feel the same way. They are trying to make me feel what they are feeling. That is usually what happens in relationships, when fights occur, when you are not getting to the root cause. A lot of arguments that happen in relationships is somebody who is trying to make the other person feel how they feel instead of actually just communicating and saying, this is how you're making me feel right now. And it's sad. And unfortunately, there's a lot of people who are walking around this earth right now with unresolved traumas, people who don't even know they have so many traumas because they can't even, they're, they're not even self-aware enough. And you have to remind yourself that when people are trying to bring you down. It's not to look at these people like they're bad. Like I'm honestly, I'm not trying to look at these men who are in my comments and being like, oh my gosh, they're such losers. But sometimes you need to re remind yourself like these people are sometimes losers but underneath it these men are hurt and when i think about that for a moment i think you know what i don't even need to call him a loser because the truth is he just needs to heal he needs to work on himself whatever the case is he is not happy in whatever the case but at the end of the day you allow people to affect how you feel and you have the power to not let these people affect you and i think that one of the easiest ways to not let other people affect your own self-perception is to forgive yourself for what you've done in survival mode. If you're currently stuck in the past and you can't seem to get 
over this thing that you have done, then I need you to do two things. First, I want you to go listen to my podcast episode all about forgiveness, letting go, and moving on. This is a process that I talked about that you can do on yourself, but you can also do with others if people in your life have maybe done something in the past and they have really messed up your life. I'm gonna have that episode linked in my description and the video that I need you to watch is the last one that I just posted. It is all about how to stop focusing on negative circumstances that are making you feel like crap about yourself. If you want to change, if you want to feel good about yourself, if you want to stop caring what other people are thinking, if you want to stop worrying about people coming back up from your past and saying this and that about you or what you've done and all of this, then you need to step into a new you. And these resources are going to help you. I know it's hard. You might have to do some deep healing. You might have to be saying sorry to people who you've wronged in the past. There are definitely things that are not going to be easy, but just always remind yourself that the state that you're being in right now, the mental and emotional state that you're in, the thoughts that you think about yourself, are they helping you right now? Are they helping you succeed and become a better you? Or are they keeping you stuck? And if they're keeping you stuck, it's time for a new you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.